from Digital 360 and this is a short video on how to um, use the filters in Zoho Mail. Mail. So um, what you can do is you can actually create um, the filters. Um, so filters are like rules. Um, uh, I think Outlook refers to them as rules or the rules wizard. And what it allows you to do is to tell the system that if, for example, in this case that I've got in front of me, um, that I want all emails um, with uh, this particular email address to be um, uh, filed into this particular folder, I can actually create a filter to do that. And what you can do is you can go into your inbox or any other folder for that matter, um, and you just right mouse click on the email uh, that contains the kind of information that you want to filter by. And then you come down to here and you go filters. Okay. And what you can then do is you can follow through this wizard here. One of the most important things that you need to um, consider is these things here. Now, if you find that after you've created a filter, you start losing or can't find um, other emails that you didn't want to have filtered, then the, the most obvious cause will be the condition type up here. So um, choose this wisely um, and also try and make it um, as simple as possible. So, for example, um, in this particular case, what I want to do is that all emails from this particular email address, I want to move into a folder. So in that case, I don't need to have um, a subject line, so I can actually delete that particular criteria. Or you may want to make it more complicated by clicking on this plus button and then um, putting something else. Maybe that it contains a particular word so you can put that in there or attachment name so that you can get quite sophisticated um, but I'm just going to leave that as it is there um, and then move to folder um, and you can then select a folder for you to move it to okay you can also select further actions like flagging them and marking them as red, um, forwarding them. So you can actually, instead of forwarding a whole mailbox, you can actually just um, forward particular types of emails, um, etc. So the filters very much like the rules wizard in Outlook. Okay, so um, you've got these. Make sure that you um, uh, uh, have a look at this. Uh, the problem that most people face is where they put in things like any of these conditions and they've selected or, or and or, which means that you may not want, for example, all the emails from this particular email address to go into that. But if you select or, then what will happen is that all emails from that particular email address will have the rule applied to it. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that you've selected and. And the good thing with the system now is that um, this is the default. So it's looking at all the conditions that you've got listed uh, down here and not just um, uh, looking at each one individually because that is the way in which most people um, get caught and have problems. The other way that you can have a look at this is to go into settings uh, up in the top right hand corner and you can come down to filters. So you can see that I've got um, quite a lot of filters um, in here. Um, and what you've also got is you've got smart filters. So what smart filters does is that if you come down on my left hand side, you can see ZM newsletters and ZM notifications. The system has got a way of sensing whether a particular email is like a notification from a particular system or whether it is an e, um, a newsletter 
from a particular system. So, for example, if an email has been sent via MailChimp or through um, 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 Zoho campaigns or an, uh, an electronic um, direct marketing email type system, then it will most likely, if smart filters is enabled, it will come through to newsletters. To disable that, you just simply click on here and it'll disable that function. Same with notifications. Um, so it senses because the way in which it actually um, operates is that notifications and emails from newsletter type emails are actually sent from um, quite structured and quite um, um, uh, recognized uh, email addresses, although it might say notifications at whatever, or even um, uh, uh, somebody's email address, that's just masking or spoofing um, uh, what is um, uh, a systems driven email address underneath it. So you've got that. So incoming and outgoing filters. So, you know, once again, outgoing, um, uh, you can actually filter um, sent items as well as, as incoming items. So that is um, what you can do here. The other thing that you can do here is that you can actually select one um, and um, you can also then um, uh, go run through this filter. So the, this is particularly um, useful if you've just created a filter and you want to retrospectively go through that um, um, and run that filter against all or one of your folders, then um, you can do that. And you can see here how you can enable and disable functions. So it may be that you just want to switch it on from time to time for a particular reason. Um, so you can do that. And then, of course, you can delete um, your um, uh, filters as well. So, um, yeah, that's just some of the things that you can do with filters in Zoho Mail. If you've got any other questions, please email us support at digital360.co.nz. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.